So last week I dropped a tutorial on how to use LUTs inside of Photoshop and I got a lot of requests on how do you create your own LUTs. So I'm going to show you right now how to create your own LUTs inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. If you want to know how to load in your LUTs and how to store them and how to actually bring them into the menus inside of Photoshop, check out last week's tutorial. I'll give you a link to that right now. But what I'm going to show you how to do is how to roll your own LUTs. By the way, if you're new here, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Then you won't miss a video from me. Let's get started. So here's a photograph that I shot in Laguna Beach a while ago. It's very kind of flat, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a LUT. Go into our adjustment layers. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a gradient map. I'm not going to explain, you know, how a gradient map works because I've got other tutorials on there and I can point you guys to that. But what I'm going to do in this one here is I'm just going to apply the black and white on here and I'm going to apply that to color. And I'm just going to bring the opacity down. And what I'm doing is just desaturating the image. So I'm not taking away all the color, but I'm taking away a lot of it. And this is a good starting place because now I want to add a little bit of other color on here. So why don't we go in and we're going to apply a second gradient map. So we're going to go under here and choose gradient map once again. And this time we're going to change the color. We want to go down to the photographic toning. Now, if you don't see photographic toning, you just want to go under window and make sure you open the gradients panel. You can't do this from the properties panel with the gradient selected. You need the gradients panel. Choose a little menu and choose legacy gradients. Once you've done that, you'll load in all kinds of libraries of gradients inside of Photoshop. And some of these are the photographic toning ones. So why don't we select one? And what we're going to do now is just apply it. So we're going to go over to our adjustment layer, change the blend mode on this to color blend mode. So now it's only affecting the color. Let's drop the opacity down and just bring it up just a little bit and see how now it's starting to affect it. So if we see what's happening, there's that color and there's that black and white on its own. So together they're starting to, you know, bring in something that looks kind of nice. So we're going to apply one more adjustment. And now when you're creating a LUT, you can do any combination of all these different adjustment layers. Right now we're going to create a curves adjustment. And let's just expand this to make our curves a little bit larger. And what I want to do is I, I just feel like it really needs some contrast here, particularly in the midtones there. So I'm going to bring the shadows down and I'm going to bring these highlights up. And I'm just going to put a point in the middle. So I can really just finesse these mid-tone contrast a little bit. And I'm just going to pull that back. So we're not darkening the very darkest shadows, just in the mid-tone area. And same with here, we're going to pull back on the lighter areas. So this is giving us a nice little curve in the middle here. And what that's doing is it's just giving us a little bit of contrast punch. It's a little much in the highlights. We're starting to see some banding. So if we look at that before and after, we can see, okay, let's change this. And so now it's not affecting the color. We're going to go to luminosity blending mode. And now it's only affecting the tones and not the color. And if we put all of these together, we get this kind of a look. I kind of like that. Maybe I'm going to put one more in here. What we're going to do is we're going to drop in a levels adjustment. And the reason I want to use the levels, I just want to brighten up just the mid-tones. And a lot of the time, this is the easiest way to do it. So just bring that mid-tone in. And I also want to soften down the shadows. So let's take the shadow, not the top. That Let's go to the bottom and just pull that in. And it just rolls away the very extreme shadows. So we get kind of a softer look there into the shadow area. All right. So if we look at all of what we've done there, we can see before after. I kind of like that. All right. So what we want to do now is we're going to save this out as a light or a lookup table where we can reuse this in Photoshop. And of course, we could also use this in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut. 
many, many program support LUTs. So let's just select all the layers and then we're going to choose File. And we're going to choose Export. Now we're not going to export our image. We're going to go down to Color Lookup Tables. Let's select on there. And what we want to do is let's just turn these off. We're going to create a 3D LUT. We could do a cube or a 3DL. Either of these will work fine. And these settings are going to be OK. So what we're going to do is just click OK. And now it's going to ask us for a name. So I'll just drop this on my desktop. And I'm just going to call this one PSC. PSC bluish dot LUT. And I'm going to save it. And that's it. We're done. Now let me show you a couple of things. OK, so now we've got rid of that. Here's our original image. If we want to bring that as a LUT, what we do is we go down to the adjustment layer and we're going to choose color lookup. You can choose to load the 3D LUT. Just click there again a second time. Go to the desktop. And then you're going to see the LUT we created, which is PSC Bluish. Click OK. And look at that. We get the same effect right there, just bringing it in as a LUT. And let me show you. It works on another image. Let's go to this image here. And we're going to bring this in. Let's choose the color lookup. So in the Properties panel, click on Load 3D LUT. You'll see there's some LUTs here that came with Photoshop and also some that I created and added in here. Check out my other video I did last week that shows you how to do that. So we're going to click on here and let's bring it in. And we can see we can quickly and easily apply that to the image. Let me just quickly show you another couple of LUTs that I created. And I'm going to give you these, by the way. I'm going to choose Color Lookup. Load in here. Why don't we grab another one of mine? Let's grab the Filmic. Boom. And you can see how that affects the image just like that. And of course, we can dial it in how we want to use it. So I'd love to give you a set of LUTs absolutely free and not just that, but a whole bunch of other things. So I've got a set of five high quality LUTs I'd love to give you for free, as well as some eBooks and some other things. Just go to photoshopcafe.com forward slash vault. Go to the Photoshop vault and then you can download all of those things for free. So hopefully you found this useful and now you feel equipped that you can create your own LUTs. Let me know in the comments underneath if this was useful, if you learned anything new, and if you have any LUTs in mind that you want to create. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss my tutorials. And if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And uh, a lot of you guys, I'll see you tomorrow at Live From Lockdown. That's every Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific time here on YouTube. Go to the Photoshop Cafe channel. We are live streaming for an hour, doing a bunch of Photoshop stuff. So hope to see you guys then. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.